Hi, I'm Bill McPhee, CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Welcome to today's video blog. Today I had a question from uh, Randy, and uh, Randy just asked, he said, what causes schizophrenia? And uh, Randy, I just want to uh, answer that question for you. Uh, first of all, let me just start by saying, it's uh, you, you'll notice that illness, no matter what illness or disease, seems to run in certain families. Like for example, what I mean is that you know you may have uh, families that have a whole lot of cancer within the family, or you may have a family that has a lot of you know heart disease or uh, heart attacks or something like that, and then you have families who have you know mental illness and that. And it's funny that that way that different uh, families sort of have different illnesses. However, in your question, what causes schizophrenia, to uh, be honestly truthful, uh, Randy, is that they really don't know what causes schizophrenia. However, there is uh, some main things that we do know. For example, schizophrenia has three legs to it. Basically, it's genetic, it's biochemical, and there's a stressor related to it. And when you have a combination of that uh, genetic, biochemical, and uh, stressor, schizophrenia can appear. Now, for example, when I talk about genetics, a lot of times uh, the uh, mental illness or schizophrenia may run in families. Uh, if uh, one parent has schizophrenia and the other doesn't, the child is is more likely to have a 10% chance of, of having schizophrenia. If both parents uh, have schizophrenia, then basically uh, a child will have, not, not necessarily a child, the, the age hits usually between the ages of, say, 15 and 25. That's why it's known as youth's greatest disabler. But anyways, um, you know, with, with the genetics, uh, if both parents have have uh, schizophrenia, then there's a 50% chance that the, the child will have uh, uh, schizophrenia as they get older. So there's that genetic component to it. When, when uh, there's uh, um, uh, no parents with, with the illness of schizophrenia, then it's the average. One out of every hundred people will develop the, the, the disease of schizophrenia. So that's the genetic part to it. The second part to it is that there's a chemical imbalance. We know that in the brain that there's, you know, things like neurotransmitters and, uh, you know, these different kinds of things in the brain. And there's chemicals in the brain. There's chemicals such as dopamine and serotonin and, and, and things like that. And they think that uh, because of the chemical imbalance that that's what uh, it is. It's come, come from a lack of dopamine or too much or different things like that. However, in saying that, I want to tell you that in the brain, there's more than 300 different chemicals in the brain. So really, it's still early in its understanding. We really don't know anything you know, to scale about the brain. So there's that genetic, there's that uh, biochemical factor. The fact that the biochemical, what happens with the biochemical factor, that's where you get your positive symptoms from. When you are hallucinating or, or you're paranoid or you're having delusions, illusions, uh, our senses become heightened, our sense of smell is heightened, our sense of taste is heightened, our, our hearing is more acute. Those symptoms of the positive symptoms, those symptoms that are added to our personality that shouldn't be there, come because of um, because of the uh, chemical imbalance. Now, to treat that chemical imbalance, usually uh, uh, medication, antipsychotic medication is, is used. Now, the third thing that I mentioned to you is about the stressor or the triggering point. And the third leg is stress. A lot of times when people are under stress, whether it be a marriage breakup or maybe a, a somebody in the college university may be into a relationship and and that goes sour or or you know their first year of school and things are overwhelming so there's a death in the family so there's that triggering so what there is is that three legs again are genetic biochemical and uh, a triggering point and remember it's known as schizophrenia is known as youth's greatest disabler because it uh, uh, affects uh, uh, usually starts at between the ages of say 15 and 25. There's always exceptions to that. Tomorrow uh, on the uh, on this video or on on Monday on this video blog, um, I will talk about uh, um, uh, about 
schizophrenia and the fact that um, you know not not all medications work. There's you have to have other op opportunities as well. It's not only about medication uh, controlling your symptoms, but that psychosocial support, which I'll talk about on Monday. Thank you. Uh, and uh, if you have a question for me on recovery, just email me at bmcb at magpiemags.com or go to our website, mentalwellnesstoday.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we truly want to be your partner in mental, in mental wellness. Have a great day.